early as 1773, Hampton Plantation boasted over 773 apple trees. These apples would feed the workforce and the Ridgelys. They would be sold to merchants, turned into cider and brandy. Most of the workforce that were harvesting these apples were enslaved labor. With such a large amount of apples, there was a need for storage, and those not packed carefully away in sawdust or hay were dried for a long-lasting effect, or were made into apple butter, apple sauce, apple pies, apple dowdies, apple dumplings, apple fritters, and of course, and perhaps most importantly, cider. A typical 18th and 19th century farmstead might have had a dozen different apple varieties, and the taste of many of these ancient brands were different than the sweet edible fruit that we know them to be today. The cellars would have been filled with many apples, waiting to be mashed and smashed into liquid. The intense smell of the cider permeated the dirt cellars of farmsteads throughout this country. Each variety had a different characteristic, flavor, and were ultimately used in different ways, either for sale or for the family's own use.